Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms. The Furious Wild 190 start date as sure. Yeah. So in the last episode, we finished off. We took out Gaoliang, uh, taking this entire territory, which is fantastic. Uh, now we need to swing back west and deal with this rebellion and also deal with Dong Tuna. We recruited Zhou Tai and Chong Bing arrived as part of our court. Now, I wasn't 100% certain who he was. I thought he may have been the guy who was appointed Grand Tutor and uh, Master of Ceremonies or Minister for Ceremonies um, for the weddings uh, in Wu. And I was correct. What I didn't know was that he had fled from north. He was from Runan. He had fled from the north and joined Shi Xie down in Zhaozhe. And Zhaozhe, uh, whilst he was in Zhaozhe, he was appointed as chief clerk to Shi Xie. He was a very important member of his court. He was a very learned scholar. He studied under some great uh, tutors. He um, was very well versed in the five classics. And uh, his fame in working for Shi Xie spread so much that... After uh, 220, after Cao Cao's death and Cao Pi had declared himself emperor and Shi Xie had declared his loyalty to Wu, after all of that had happened, uh, Sun Quan had heard of his reputation and requested he join his court. And Shi Xie, of course, uh, didn't stand in the way. Chong Bing went to join the court and was the crown prince's tutor. Um, his date of birth, date of death are unknown, but he certainly lived for quite a while. Um, and was a very talented individual. So yeah, great to have him on board. Very high ranking. And of course we have Zhou Tai as well. Now we have adopted Chong Bing, which is why our heir is pissy. I don't understand why our heir is pissy. I'm not changing him yet. I might change him in the future. Who knows? But right now I'm not changing him. Um, we brought in Zhou Tai, who is very, very happy for someone who has just joined us, which is quite rare. Most of the people who have joined us have been really pissed off. Um, but he's joined us. We unfortunately don't have the money to recruit him. We've recruited an army here to deal with this force that is coming. Now, this army is not altogether that good, um, but we don't exactly have the world's finest uh, setup here. The Tanjong is okay. Guang Yu, however, is in the process of being built. We only have this. So it'll be a tight fight if it comes to it, but uh, one we should be able to win. Um... Otherwise, yeah, not a huge amount else for us to do this turn. We'll take the turn, go to the next one. Um, I'm trading as much food as I dare to bring in extra money. Um, as soon as we've dealt with Dong Tuna, I will, uh, unless suddenly we get an influx of cash, I will dissolve that army. Because um, it's costing me money that I can't afford really right now. Uh, here he comes. Close defeat, eh? Siege of Yulin, Gong Yu. We have a little bit because it's a. Let's fight this. I have cavalry which he just does not have, so I think, I think we can take him. Um, he and his uh, heir, they are the problems. Yes, he outnumbers me, but the Nanman are not that good. Um, like they have some very good unique units and their top tier troops are still top tier but in a straight fight they're not that good unfortunately i only have militia so i can't say that i'm that good either <clears throat> okay it looks like they're all attacking from one side that does rather make life easy uh everybody shift back here for a second let's arrange our forces they have slingers slingers are best described as fucking useless um Fire arrows. The Nanman don't like fire arrows. Well. Alright, we've got a lot of archers here. They're just going to shoot. And hopefully lots of people are going to die. That's the plan, basically. You guys can shift here. We're going to have the cavalry here as well. So they can shift out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cavalry there. Uh, you have... Yes, very nice. You can be here. You... Uh, speed. Hmm. Not so good. Dong Tuna doesn't have any special weapons. He does have a special weapon. That's a shame. He does not normally have a special weapon. Okay. Uh, that does make things marginally harder. You're going to be here as well. Let us start this battle. Cavalry, if you don't mind. How'd you come? All the archers in the world. 
get ready. We're going to need faces ripped off before they arrive. <sighs> she could hurt if she hits us. As could he. He really could hurt. That is such a shame. He has that special weapon. All right. Everybody, are we ready? On them. Shoot, 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 shoot. Destroy that unit. Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. They are not being destroyed fast enough. But look, see how fast their morale drops. These are the Nanman. They do get hit hard by this type of stuff. Right, them now. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. We need to minimize the impact their slingers will have. We have shields, so their slingers shouldn't have the greatest impact. Um, but we just want to knock out some of their missile troops just before this all kicks off. Come on, make and break, make and break. So we want to hit spears soon. Hit spears, hit the spears, hit the spears. Very nice. You are going to come... Uh, do you know what? You're actually going to come here. We're not going to flank with you. We are... Preparing with our cav over here, though. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Wreck those spears, wreck those spears. Ah, boys, 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 they're trying to be really smart. Get over there. Get over there. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, maybe they're not trying to be that smart. Advance, just a touch. You guys advance, just a touch. Uh, ready, 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 and poing. There we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Right, shoot them now. Um, nah, we need you here. We need you here. Cavalry, you ready? Start eating them. Start eating them. Kill, 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 kill. I want them dead. Please. They are beginning to test my patience. Um, yeah, you can be there as a reserve. No hope against us. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Can we shoot in here? No, shoot them. Shoot them before they affect my cavalry, if you don't mind. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You. Yeah, just hang back ever so slightly. You pile in here. Kill, kill, kill. Cavalry, out. Out, 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 out. Go, 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 go. Go, move, move, move. Fly, you fools, fly. This way. Charge! Excellent job. Well done, archers. Right, now into them. If you do not mind, you, my man, are going to have to come in here. Uh, huh? An enemy unit has completely shattered, which is wonderful. You need to just pull back ever so slightly. Um, okay, very nice. Cavalry, you are dealing with them. Good. Kill, kill, kill. Nice. If you don't mind you can deal with them as well keep pushing let's see if we can kill her who are these guys they're naman spearmen they're not mine so they're no threat arrows are falling in here but our boys are starting to die i need the cavalry really quickly now archers are pummeling here which is effective right reform ready yourselves boys ready yourselves go Go, 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 go. Charge, charge, charge. Okay. You and you. Shoot them. You and you. Shoot them. You. Yes, very nice. Break them. Bring her down. They've all broken. Stay on them. Do not give up. Fight. Kill. Maim. Destroy. Etc. 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 Right. All of you archers. Shoot them. Kill, 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 kill. You and you. On him. You. Bring her down. Bring her down. We'll see if we can force him to flee. Just by killing everything else. Okay. They're dead. He's beginning to flee. There we go. Effective. Very, very nice indeed. I'll do that. Heroic victory. I don't think he was ever in doubt. We didn't lose too many men either. That is magnificent. But we did slaughter them. That is the thing about the Naman. They lack shields. We had some good archers there. And a, and a lot of archers. Um, slingers just don't have the same damage output. They're just crap. Uh, we lost 300 men. Look at their army. Their army's in pieces. 
Oh, we got a cleaver. How wonderful. Just what I always wanted. Oh, and some bone clubs. Um, I'm not going to kill her. Um, I am going to take the replenishment. Just in case we have to defend again. He looks like he's fleeing, though. Uh, I'm not sure it's declared war on Hongzhou. Uh, Jurong is declared war on Mulu. Okay, so Mulu is actually important for us to survive, frankly. Because Mulu is all that stands between us and the really, really nasty Naman. Mulu is someone we can work with. So he's getting angry with us, but he is someone we can work with. The others, others are not. Uh, his force is pretty weak. We can not quite reach it. Hmm. He's got some slingers. We got them. Ah, uh, it's not, not greatly in our favour, is it? Uh you'll be tired. Balance of power is ever so slightly in his favour. Mm. Just don't have enough infantry. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. How are you doing? Are you... You're, you're not being that helpful. You are starting to drop. Um... Which is a shame. General who stands his ground. That's resolve. General of the right is authority. General of the left is resolve. Recruitment across this army. Satisfaction increase. There you go. You're my general of the left. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Now. Uh, I think we just stay put, actually, with him. I think we just stay put. Everybody else, relatively good position. Do we want to upgrade this for more food? Probably we do. Um, quick deal. Do we have anyone we can trade with? No. Military access? No. And Empire? Nothing. We're not going to get any money for that at all. We don't have enough food to sell. Okay. This is, uh, as it always is, where I have too many armies for my economy to sustain. <laughs> uh, but we have beaten Dongtuna. Um, we're going to deal with this rebellion, which is going to help as well. Um, it's a lot of money. I really could do with the money, but at the same time, I don't want to fight Mulu. I know Mulu is at war with lots of people now, but I don't want him to think he can just expand... Where the piss are you running to? The Great Divide. Your officials witnessed smoke rising from one of your villages when visiting it for a routine inspection. Assisting the garrison there is to kill a small group of men armed with flaming torches. When they ask where the attackers came from, uh, they then ask where the attackers came from. The garrison commander explains the rioters were in fact locals protesting one of your recent decrees. As your star rises, the divide between ruler and subjects is unavoidable. You will have to monitor public order more closely. Yeah, no problem. Active developments, of so Gaoshun. Oh my god, Gaoshun as well. Clay Dog. Clay Dog is authority. Um, Now you've got a toy. Do you know what? You can do with something like this as well, just to keep you a little bit happier. Here, have fun. Have a toy. Yep, shift as fast as you can. Uh, Busan here. <sighs> I don't have the money for what I really need here. We don't need income for peasantry we need all commerce stuff so we need to save up for these things it shouldn't be a problem you are now losing people at a fast rate very much in our favor let's finish you off nicely done very nicely done um we will take the money and we have now got the Earth Dragon. Spectacular. And with you, um, we can say your job has been completed. Uh, Jiang Min as well. Excellent job. Fantastic. We now have lots of money coming in. That makes me considerably happier. We have some extra cash too. 
So we can get this in, which is important for this region. Zhao Liang hates our guts. They are going to be a problem. They are going to be a problem. We could do tax exemption just to solve it, but that would... I mean, I could. What I also could do... Gosh. He's rank one. Do you know what? If he's, if he's around next turn, I'm getting Gao Shun as well. I don't have the money now because it's more important I did my economy. But if he's around, I'm bringing him in. Oh, yeah, arse, arseholes, mate. Arseholes. It's not going to happen. Simply not going to happen. Um, hmm. Right. Pyrrhic victory, delegate. Not gonna fight yellow turbans unless I absolutely have to. They've lost. Oh, oh yes, you've got a master craftsman. You god amongst men. You're an amazing chap who has provided me with much love. Thank you for coming today. Shamoko is the one to an Jiang is the one Mulu. Oh dear, Mulu is in trouble. Master craftsman. So Master Craftsman. Income from industry is not not really my thing, but you know what? Why not? We can try it. You have leveled up. Um, income from industry, we don't need movement range. No, we're not using you for that. We'll have this for now. You are desiring a higher court position well 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 hopefully we'll tick up into this and deal with some satisfaction because we need it uh, right come on forward next turn we will be there next turn we will be there you know going over so fine galiang there's nothing else we can add to galiang really until we upgrade this, we may as well upgrade this while we are here. I don't want to keep throwing out titles because eventually it's going to come back to bite me because the cost of just doing so increases because all the hundreds have gone. Become vassal military access on aggression pact. Nah, none of that. Negotiate. Lu Biao is we're giving him food anyway. Han Empire doesn't need food. You don't need food, Lady Jurong. Jurong, Jurong, Jurong. Uh, that might upset Mulu though. Mulu is still very poor. Shamoku is, is, is a nobody in this fight. Um, not saying he's a nobody, but in this fight he is a nobody. So, I'm going to give you some. And I'm going to request money. Um, doesn't matter how much you give, but it's just I need some money. So... Ooh, okay. There, that's, that's close enough. That'll do. That'll do. That's thrown us a little bit extra cash, which is magnificent. Next turn. Very, very nice of them to provide me with so much money. There's so little rice. I do need to sort of expand this whole um, spice network down here, though. Get more trade coming in. I've just got no one to trade with. Dong Chunai is coming back. Ah, oh, I mean, you're dead, mate. You're dead. There we go. Dealt with. Fantastic. Uh, we are going to take the money because we barely lost anyone. Shi Fang Lang, so Shi Yi, he actually has a son with his own name. That's magnificent. Uh, Ancillary's gained general of the front. Active elements. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Lady Shi, you, twenty-five percent income in Gaoliang. Yes. Because that's industry. That's a mistake. I did not mean you for you to be in Galang. I meant you to be in Jaja. Is Jaja our best though? No, Yu Lin is our best. And Yu Lin is commerce and spice. So Lady Shi, in you go. Commerce and spice. Oh, but we could reward the filial and incorrupt. Do we need the money that much? We probably don't. This will just make everyone happier. We just need them to be a, a tiny bit happier. Now, Gao Shun, you are here. I am bringing you. Welcome, sir. Welcome. We've got Gao Shun. 
I should probably have brought in an Anuet as well. But uh, can't you, my man? We don't need the replenishment. Get your ass up here as fast as you possibly can. Uh, so we can deal with him. This is almost ticked over, which is going to be brilliant. Were we to bring in an Anuet... She's young. We could marry her into the family. Yes. Yes, we shall. But that's going to be in a turn. Okay. If we marry her into the family, we have more family members, which means we have a greater potential in the court. Um, I need some daughters because I want to marry Gao Shun and Zhou Tai. Um, we might have to adopt someone though that's a more expensive way of doing it yeah, he's coming back man he doesn't learn <clears throat> why would he come back so quickly after being defeated since so clear one hong Tzu. okay now has been confederated mulu has pieced okay cunning versus sincere as you share a meal with a close advisor he puts it to you that sincerity in all things is to be ardently pursued you counter that knowledge is power and like an army, can be deployed strategically. Continue postulating late into the evening. Jump in! The other one's my son. He can deal with it. Right. Spy master. Um, so... Jump in. You have one. Chong Bing, you have one. Oh. You can have this. I know it's not really ideal for you... But it's better than nothing. Then, uh, satisfaction for strategist and reduction character salary. My strategist should stop their bitching and moaning. Ooh, I did not mean that. Um, now we're not going to move far enough. You can shift up here. He, uh, he doesn't really have a force. We should be all right. Yulin Busan and all the rest is fine. What we actually wanted to do. Family tree. You. Marry. Heir. Confirm. Done. Brilliant. Okay. Very nice. Now, let's just uh, have a quick look at the family tree, actually. We've got Lua Tong. Why is he Lua? Um, they're, they're all boys. Air boys too. We need some girls, my man. We need some girls. Um, so that we can uh, extend our family with our new fantastic generals. Okay. So he's coming back for Guang Yu, but Guang Yu has just been upgraded. They'll be able to hold if he attacks it. Now, if he attacks uh, Tanjong, that's a different matter. Um, but we'll have time to recruit a commander uh, if needed. We're going to go straight up here to Zhangke and deal with them. Right. Good. Very good indeed. So, let's uh, see what his movement is going to be like. Where are you going, my man? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> A report has reached you that your attendant, whom you sent to seek talent, has been courting people near and far and ingratiating themselves with some unalienating others. With one whom they met, they formed a connection and the two have become bonded by fate. They shot an old Ting Ping. Fantastic. Uh, Play acts. Okay. Well. Well. Your supplies are still holding out. Oh, pool. Doesn't really have a force, does it? It is rather... You are... You are a threat. You are a threat. But if I was to distract myself with you... Then... I would not be able to go and take your territory so quickly. So... I'm going to go take your territory as fast as I possibly can. Um, oh, Lin Chen. That upgrade would be very, very nice. Here, we could certainly do with upgrading this. The 
trade port. I think we shall upgrade the trade port. Um, that's going to spend most of our money. We have no idea where that fool is going. Do we have any options for trade yet? We do, we do, we do. With Dong Min, who does not like the idea. However, however, if you've dealt with your problems, would this... Yeah, not even close. Aggression part with the Han Empire. I wonder, would we be able to sell this? We can sell this for something important now. Good man. Request regular payments. What can we get? Say 550. Request payment here. Oh, you've got 100k. Come on, you can front me over 550. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, you are just a magnificent friend of mine. There we go. Oh, so lovely. Um, what about military access? Han Empire, would you like military access? Which you're never going to use. Would you like it? Uh, request regular. No. Okay, so we can't get much. But this should be a couple of hundred. Maybe. More. Much more. Oh, yes. Couple of grand there. That works very nicely. Look at that money flowing in here. Excellent job. So, Lin Chen uh, has... Where can he move to? Can't really move anywhere, which is quite nice. That gives me an opportunity to recruit troops if he becomes a threat. Lin Chen, I think we're going to upgrade. Just we have more soldiers in that area. Okay, good. Let's move on. We sort of sorted out our satisfaction with Strashis, which is really rather lovely. Um, hopefully that means they'll be giving me less shit as time goes on. Um, I'm going to keep Shushian moving up towards Zhangke so we can take Wulian. He looks like he's coming for Lin Chen. Okay. Okay, I can deal with that. Of course, sign a peace treaty with the Mulu. Good. A daughter. Fantastic. That's what we need. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that is what we need. You're going to shift as fast as you can up here. We're going to threaten his town. Uh, down on this front in Lin Chen itself. Uh, we are going to raise our army. Who shall we raise? Who shall we raise? I think we shall raise you. Here. Hold there. Just hold there. If they want to come and attack, they can come and attack. We should be able to deal with them with just that force. I don't have enough money to do anything else as it stands. Which is uh, a little bit of a shame. Still only Dong is 3.7. I just can't afford that. Just can't afford that. Gaoshun. Have a clay axe. No followers for you. No weapons for you, unfortunately. We're going to get him out and fighting as fast as possible. This guy is an absolute legendary beast. So we are lucky to have these guys. This is Joel Tai, uh, Reformed Brigand. He ended up as a bodyguard for Sun Chuan for a period of time. Very, very trusted. Never really got on with a lot of Sun Chuan's other officers and they used to treat him badly but Sun Chuan had him strip naked and show off all of his scars in front of them and describe how he won every single scar. After that uh, the Wu commanders were less dismissive of Zhou Tai. Gao Shun, loyal officer underneath Lu Bu, uh, Gao Shun led uh, the unit called the Camp Crushers, who were a vanguard unit for Lubu. He was Lubu's go-to guy in many things. He was loyal. He was brave. He was supposedly an extremely upright character as well, who admonished Lubu when he did some more of his mercenary things. Um, but of course, because he was loyal to Lubu, he ended up dying alongside Lubu. Uh, that's how beheaded him. Um, but his soldiers that he fought alongside... He commanded 700 of them were supposed to be amongst the best of the best at the time. But we will see more of them in the future. This is it for this episode. In the next episode, hopefully we will be beating Dong Tuna here. We will take his land here. Um, and then we'll decide whether or not we need to vassalize him or whether we do something else with him. But that is for later. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.